Hi, I'm Rachel Scott with Do Yoga With Me. And this is a challenging, beginner's, well-rounded practice. And in this sequence, we're gonna slow it down a little bit and take each pose step by step so that you can really learn the foundation of the pose. It'll help increase your strength and also increase your flexibility. I hope you enjoy it. For this class, we're going to start on our backs. Lay down on your back with your knees bent and your feet about hip distance apart. Place one hand onto your lower belly and one hand onto your ribs. Take a moment here to feel your whole back body soften into the mat. Feel the length of your spine from your pelvis all the way up to the back of your head and the width of your body from shoulder to shoulder. Make a transition from thinking to feeling. As you breathe, start to notice where in your body you feel your breath. Do you feel it more in your belly, in your ribs, in your upper chest? There's no wrong answer here. Just notice what you feel. We'll start a breathing exercise. So keeping the breath in your ribs very still, keeping your ribs soft, send your breath deliberately into your belly. Imagine that you could send your breath down into your hips. And notice if this feels like a natural breath to you or if this feels awkward or unusual. Again, there's no wrong answer. Just notice what you feel. Letting that go, now keep your belly really still and see if you can send your breath into your ribs. Send your breath into the side ribs, your upper chest, even your upper back. Notice if you feel the breath more into one side of your body than the other. And sense if this feels natural or if this feels strange. Good, and then letting that go, we'll do a few rounds of what's called full, complete breathing, where we breathe into both the belly and the ribs. So start by taking a deep breath in, and then completely exhale out. Send your breath down into your belly, pause, and now inhale again into your ribs, your upper chest, even your upper back, pause, and then exhale out completely. Send your breath into your belly, inflate your belly. Pause, and then inhale again into your ribs, your upper chest. Pause, exhale out. Two more times. Inhale into your low belly. Pause, inhale into your ribs, your upper chest. Pause. Exhale out. Last time, inhale into your low belly. Pause. Inhale into your ribs and your upper chest. Fill up, pause. Exhale completely out. And now just let your breath happen naturally with no intervention. And notice what you feel. Sometimes you might find that you can breathe now into a slightly different place or that you feel more full or more grounded.
Bring your palms together and give them a brisk little rub. Bring your hands over your eyes and then start to open your eyes behind your palms. Once your eyes are open, then go ahead and take your hands away. Draw your right knee into your chest. Hug the knee in. Take a deep breath. Slide your hands around the back of your leg. Interlace your hands in the middle of your hamstring. So that's about halfway between your bum and your knee. Now, if you have shorter arms or you're a little tighter here, you can also use a strap that you hold on around the back of your thigh. Press your thigh bone forward into your arms, let your arms go straight, and then stretch your heel up towards the ceiling and flex your foot. This leg stretch is awesome for opening up the hamstrings and the back of your leg. Press your thigh forward, so really engage your quadriceps to straighten your leg and press your heel up. Root the right side of your pelvis down as you stretch your heel towards the sky. And now see if you can relax your shoulders and your face. Take a couple of deep breaths. Pull your toes down towards your face to stretch your calf. One more breath. Long legs, strong legs. And then draw your right knee into your chest and place the right foot down. Draw your left knee in. Hold on to the top of the shin for a moment and let the thigh sink down towards your ribs. Interlace your hands behind the back of your left thigh, again about halfway between your knee and your hip. And then flex the foot, press the thigh forward into your hands and stretch your heel towards the sky. Keeping your shoulders relaxed onto your mat, let your arms go completely straight and actively press your thigh forward. Root the left hip down as you stretch the left heel up and pull your toes down towards your face so that you give your calf a good stretch. Keep stretching through your leg, pressing your thigh forward. Two more breaths. Imagine that you could make your left leg an inch longer. One more breath. Exhale, bend the knee, draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug, and then either rocking forward and back on your spine to come up, or you can roll over onto one side to come up. Bring your hands forward, and let's come to all fours. Take your hands outer shoulder distance apart, and place your knees directly underneath your hips. Keeping your arms straight as you inhale, draw your chest forward through your arms, tip your tailbone up towards the sky, and give the front of your body a nice stretch. As you exhale, draw your tailbone down, round your upper back towards the sky, and look towards your navel. Inhale in, tailbone back, heart forward. Exhaling out, round your spine. Start to link your movement with your breath so that your inhales and your exhales last as long as the movement does. After your next exhale, come back to a neutral spine. As you inhale, send your right heel back behind you and pull your heart forward. As you exhale, draw your knee into your nose, round your spine. As you inhale, stretch the heel back. And as you exhale, round in. If you're able to, perch onto your left fingertips and add your left arm into this. Stretch your left arm forward as your right heel moves back. And as you exhale, draw your elbow towards your knee. A little bit more balance here. Inhaling in, reaching out long. As you exhale, pull everything into your navel. Inhaling in, stretching out long. Exhale, drawing in. Now as you inhale, stretch out long, stay here. Press back through your right heel. Lift your low belly in and up. Pull your ribs into your body and then reach through your heel and reach through your fingertips. If you'd like an added challenge, bring your left hand down and reach your right arm forward. A little bit trickier. Reach through your heel, stretch through the sides of your waist. Exhale, lower that hand down, lower your knee down, give your hips a little shake from side to side. Moving on to the left side, inhaling in and stretch your left heel back behind you. Pull your chest forward, arms strong. As you exhale, draw your knee to your nose and round your spine. Inhaling in, stretch the heel back. Exhale, drawing in. This time, adding the right arm to the mix, inhaling in, take your right arm forward. 
Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhaling in, reach. Exhale, rounding in. Inhaling in, reach, stretch out and we'll stay here. Press through your left palm, reach through your left heel, draw your low belly in and up and then get longer. Again, add a challenge, put the right hand down and reach the left arm forward. Long neck, long fingers, reach through your heel. Take one more breath. Exhale, lower your hand down, lower your knee down. Again, give your hips a little bit of a shake. Send your hips all the way back to your heels, coming into extended child's pose. So walk your hands as far forward as you can. Take your pinkies as wide as your mat. As you push down through your hands, anchor your hips towards your heels, and then see if you can walk your hands further forward. As you press the palms down into the mat, lift your forearms up and then squeeze your outer arms in towards each other so your arms are straight. The arms should be working a bit here. Roll your inner arms, the biceps, up towards the sky as you pull your hands towards each other. Lengthen the back of your neck. Press the palms down, lift the arms, send your hips back. Strong, straight arms. Keep lifting the forearms up, squeezing the outer arms in. Three more breaths. One more breath, push your hands down, straighten your arms. Inhale, rise up onto your hands and to your knees. Now keep your hands exactly where they are, curl your toes under, and then pull your hips up and back to down dog. Bend your knees a lot. Push your hands into the floor, squeeze your arm bones together, and stretch your hips up towards the sky. By bending your knees a lot, you'll take all of the stretch into the spine, which is so, so good. So lift your hips up, and then to the extent that you're able, start to sink your heels down, but it does not matter how far they go. More important here is to keep the spine long. One more breath. Stretch your arms, reach through your hips. Exhale, lower your knees down. Come back into child's pose, but this time, let your arms go. You can either stack your hands underneath your forehead or bring your arms to your side. Take a couple deep breaths to relax any tension through your shoulders and your neck. And then let's do that one more time. So keeping your hips back, stretch your arms forward. Pinky is really nice and wide, fingers spread, press the palms, lift your arms up, squeeze them in. Wrap the outer arms in and crawl your hands forward just a little bit more. Press the hips back, keeping your arms this strong and straight. Come up onto your hands and to your knees, straighten the arms, curl your toes under, bend your knees, pull your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Get as long as you possibly can through your spine. Keep that and then start to stretch your heels back and down. Even though you're squeezing your arms together, let your head relax, let your jaw relax. Three more breaths, straighten your arms. Pull your hips back, one more breath. And then lower your knees down. One more time, child's pose, just to give your shoulders a little bit of a break. Extend your arms forward, rise up onto your hands and to your knees. This time, bring your elbows down. Elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Interlace your hands together and press the palms down. Root your elbows down and then puff up your upper back a little bit like that cat pose we did earlier. Keep that, but draw your shoulders away from your ears so your neck feels really long. With all this nice stability now through your shoulder girdle, step one foot back at a time and come into a forearm plank. Press to your toes, lift your thighs really strongly. Everyone lift your hips up a little bit more and then scoop your tailbone, lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Keeping all of this good core connection now, press your heels back and try to pull your chest towards your thumbs. We're gonna stay here for 10 breaths. Now if you need to lower your knees, lower your knees maybe for just a moment and then see if you can come back in. Press your elbows down, soften your jaw, lift your thighs. Five more breaths. Focus on your breathing. About 10 more seconds. Five 
four, three, two, one. Lower your knees down. One more time, child's pose. Relax your head and your neck. Roll your shoulders a little bit. Roll your forehead from side to side. Stretch your arms forward. Spread the palms wide, hands as wide as your mat. Squeeze the arms together, arms straight. Rise up onto your hands and to your knees. Downward facing dog again. Bend your knees, pull your hips way up and back and stretch through the sides of your waist. Now plug your fingertips down a little bit more and re-squeeze your arms in. Slowly start to walk your hands and your feet towards each other. Place your feet hip distance apart and parallel so your feet look like little number 11s. Bend your knees a lot and then hold on to opposite elbows. Let your spine hang over your legs. Now this is a big hamstring stretch. So rock the weight forward into your toes a little bit more. Bend the knees as much as you need to and allow your head to get heavy. Change the crossing of your arms. Grab onto the other elbow. It'll probably feel a little strange. And let the weight of the arms help to create more length through your spine. One more breath. Exhale out. Now let your arms go. Bring your hands to your hips. Keeping your knees bent, lift your shoulders up so your chest feels wide. Root through your feet, inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Coming to stand in Tadasana, take your feet about hip distance apart. Bend your knees, lift all 10 toes up for a moment to activate through the arches of your feet. Keep that activation through your feet, but now let your toes relax. Lift through your thighs. Press the tops of your thigh bones back. It's gonna feel like you're sticking your bum back a little bit. And keep this lift of your thighs as you take your sitting bones down. Soften the front ribs in a little bit more as you draw your arm bones back and spread through your fingers. Pause, close your eyes for a moment and feel the steadiness of this pose. Rooting down through your feet, open your eyes. Stretch your arms out to the side. Roll your thumbs back. Open the top corners of your chest. Keeping your ribs softening in, turn the arm bones back. Now keep the arms rolling back, but turn just the palms down and then flex the hands and push away from you. So getting wider from the center of your chest, the center of your back, all the way out through the wrist. Even spiral the thumbs back a little bit more, plug the shoulders down and stretch through the arms. This is a surprisingly intense stretch. Press through your palms, keep strong through your legs, and take a deep breath. Turn the palms up. As you inhale in, reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. Bend your knees as you exhale in forward fold. Fingertips can come to the floor. As you inhale, perch your fingers onto your shins and lift yourself up halfway. So this is a little back bend, look forward. As you exhale, let the whole body release. Let your head go, forward fold. Coming all the way up to stand, inhaling in long spine. Take your arms to the side, lots of space. Reach your arms all the way up. And as you exhale, hands back down, Tadasana. Strong legs. Inhaling in. Stretch the arms up. Bend your knees, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, fingers to the shin. Stretch your chest. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up, arms wide, stretch your fingers to the sky. Exhale, hands down. One more like that, this time focus on your breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Big exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Rise up, inhale, long spine, arms stretch up. Exhale, hands by your sides. Bring your hands to your hips, bend your knees, and send your hips way back behind you. So bring the weight all the way back into the center of your heel. As you do this, also press the knees apart so the knees stay anchored over the center of your ankle. Sit a little deeper, send your hips back, and now take the tailbone down so you feel a lift through your low belly. From here, reach the arms straight forward in front of you. Soften your front ribs in, plug the shoulders on your back, 
and keeping that, keeping that engagement through your ribs, start to stretch your arms up, chair pose. Straight arms, just like down dog. Press your thighs wide, sit down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. You'll start to feel your glutes working down, up, down, up. Back and down, sit a little deeper, up, down, stretch your fingers up, three more, down, up, two, and one. Rise all the way up and exhale, hands by your sides. Interlace your palms. Press your palms forward so your arms are straight. One more time, draw the ribs in, so this is important. Keep the core engaged. So you press the palms forward, plug your shoulders onto your back. Keeping your ribs nice and soft, start to stretch your arms up and overhead. Now they might not come all the way up and that's fine. Do your best to push your palms away from you and squeeze your outer arms in. To the extent that you are able, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. Take a little look up at your hands and make sure your hands aren't doing anything weird but that they're nice and even. And try to pull the fingers apart to straighten your arms even more. Now feel from the center of your heels all the way up through your hands, all that space and get longer. Push the sky away. Take one more breath. Exhale, slowly lower the arms down. Now notice which thumb is on top and change the grip of your hands. Strong legs, tailbone down, press the palms forward. Draw your ribs in, plug your shoulders onto your back and then start to stretch the arms up. Keep lengthening through the back of your neck. Bring the arms up as much as you can. Take a glance at your hands to make sure they're nice and even. And then try to pull the fingers apart to straighten your arms even more. Pull the outer arms in. Get longer through the sides of your waist. Now root down through your feet and push your palms up. One more breath. Exhale, lower your hands down. Give your arms a little shake. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale out. Bend your knees. Sit down again, chair pose. Send your hips back, nice and low. Reach the fingertips forward. Inhale here. As you exhale, forward fold over your legs. As you inhale, lift up halfway. This time, step the left leg way back behind you. Lower your back knee down. So we're coming into a low lunge. Bring your hands onto your front thigh. Back out of the pose a little bit so that you can lengthen your tailbone down. This is gonna make this a really good, juicy hip flexor stretch. Tailbone down, lower belly in. Interlace your hands again. Press your palms forward. Plug your shoulders on your back. Take the arms all the way up towards the sky. Keeping your front body in now, start to sink your hips forward and down. Dig into your back toes or your back foot a little bit more. Squeeze your left glute a little bit and lift up higher through the sides of your waist. Soft face, soft jaw. Try to pull the fingers apart. Exhale, lower your hands down. Lift your back knee up. Step forward to the front of your mat. Feet parallel. Inhale, lift up halfway. Step your right leg back. Lower your back knee down. Squeeze your legs in. Bring your hands onto your front thigh. Interlace your hands the opposite way and press your palms forward. Draw your front ribs in, lengthen your sitting bones down, and then take your arms up towards the sky. Careful not to bend them or let the elbows widen too much. Press your palms up and squeeze your outer arms together. Pull your tailbone down, start to sink your hips forward. Press your palms up and get longer through the center of your body. Again, try to pull your fingers apart to straighten your arms and draw your arm bones back behind your ears. One more breath. Slowly exhale, take your hands down, lift your back thigh, step forward and forward fold. Release your head and your neck. Bring your hands to your hips, lift your shoulders, widen your chest as you inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Coming into tree pose, stand onto your right foot, come onto your left toes and bring your hands to your hips. So with your hands on your hips, Use your hands to tell if your hips are moving around. We want to keep them really strong and stable and pointed forward. Lift up through your right thigh, square your hips forward, and then take the left thigh and turn it out a few times without letting the hips go with it. So just the thigh is moving. Take the left thigh out, lift up through your low belly, and then place the foot either onto the ankle, the calf, or perhaps to the upper thigh. 
Squeeze the foot and the leg together and then bring your hands to your chest. Use the hands connecting to widen your chest and widen your collarbones. And then get taller through the top of your head. Option one, stay here. Option two, reach your arms forward. Plug your shoulders onto your back and then stretch your thumbs up towards the sky. Lift your thumbs up, lift your fingers up and stretch your fingers apart. Get longer. Take one more breath. With control, bring your hands back together in front of your heart. Turn your knee forward and then come to stand. Give yourself a little shake out if you need to roll through your feet and then we'll come onto the left side. Hands onto your pelvis, come onto your right toes and keeping the pelvis nice and square, turn the right thigh out a couple of times. Bring the thigh out, lift up through your left leg and place the foot either onto your ankle calf or to the upper thigh. Press the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot and then bring your hands together, widen your chest. This might be enough. If you're feeling steady, stretch your arms forward, relax the shoulders onto your back, and then root down through your foot as you stretch up through your arms. Find so much length. Lengthen your sitting bones down and reach up through your thumbs. One more breath. With control, keep all of this length as you bring your hands back together. Turn your right knee forward and place the foot down and then give yourself a little bit of a shake. Now we'll turn to face the side of our mat. Stand in the center of your mat and then take your feet wide apart from each other. A good measurement is to take your hands wide. You want your feet underneath your wrists, so it's quite a wide stance. Bring your hands back onto your hips. From the very top of your right thigh, turn your right leg towards the front of your mat so that your toes, your knee, and your thigh bone are all facing that direction. Turn your back heel back slightly so your foot is on a slight angle. Bring your hands back onto your pelvis. Straighten your front leg. Notice the hips are gonna to wanna to tilt down, so instead lift the front hip point up. Lift your low belly up so the pelvis stays nice and even. Keep that. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. As you root into the outer edge of your back foot, bend your right knee to square. Your right knee is going to want to fall in, so wrap the right sitting bone under and press the thigh wide so the knee tracks directly over your ankle. Sit all the way down so your thigh is parallel to the floor. Draw your low belly in, stretch your arms out. Most of the time we need to reach the back hand back just a little bit more. Stretch through your fingers, relax your shoulders, and open your chest. Sit down, warrior two. Dig into your front heel and push your feet apart from each other. Keep pressing your left thigh straight as you pull your right sitting bone underneath you. Staying here for five more seconds. Sit down a little deeper. Three, two, one. Come all the way up. Bring your hands onto your hips and turn your right thigh forward. Give your hips a little shake. From the top of your left thigh, turn the whole left thigh, knee and foot towards the left side of your mat. Widen your right heel back just a little bit. Again, even out your pelvis. Root into your back heel, straighten your back leg, and then bend your left knee to a square. Again, keep pressing the left thigh open so it tracks right over the center of your foot. Press into your back foot as much as you're bending into your left knee, and then take your arms out to the side. Stretch back through your right fingertips, Lift and widen your chest. Spread your fingers apart. Sitting down here, press your back thigh straight. Continue to wrap your left sitting bone underneath you. Staying here for about five more seconds. So sit down a little deeper and push your feet apart from each other. Four, three, two, one. Straighten your leg, turn your thigh forward. Give your hips a little shake. Bend your knees. Look at your feet. Make sure your toes are pointing straight ahead. Lift your chest up and then shift your hips back and bring your fingertips in front of you for a forward fold. Inhale to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, hinge forward to the best of your abilities. Your fingertips may touch the earth. Maybe your palms touch the floor. If your hands can come down, then start to walk them back. Eventually, the heels of your hands are aligned with your heels. Release your head and your neck. Totally fine here to keep a soft bend through your knees. Root down into your feet and shift your weight a little bit forward into the balls of your feet to lift and widen your upper thighs apart. 
Perhaps your head touches down. That's pretty flexible. Press your hands, squeeze your elbows in, and lift your shoulders. Two more breaths. Really nice hamstring stretch here. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Now come on up to straight arms. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Soften your knees. Strong legs, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. All right, turning your heels in a little bit, let's narrow our stance and then bend your knees. Press both of your thighs out. This is called goddess. Sit down. The knees are gonna tend to drop in so you need to actively press them open. Send your hips back a little bit more and hinge forward just a bit. Root your tailbone down. So you probably won't be straight up right here but a little bit on an incline, that's fine. Open your arms. Relax your shoulders, stretch through your fingers, sit down. Sit down an inch, up an inch. Wide chest, down an inch, press into your heels. Up an inch, keep pressing your knees back. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, knees back, up an inch. Five more, down, up, down, knees back, up, three more. Down, up, sink a little deeper, down, up last time, down, and all the way up. Turn your heels back out, give your hips a little shake. So come back to that first dance we had, really wide between the feet, and again, turn the right thigh bone out, turn your toes forward, and turn your back toes in just a little bit. Square up your pelvis, strong back leg, bend your right knee to a square. This time, shift your pelvis back towards your back heel. So bring your hands onto your pelvis and shift the whole pelvis back. Lift it back up. Shift the pelvis. Back up. Shift the pelvis. This time bring your forearm onto your front thigh. Use your forearm to roll the right thigh a little bit more towards the right and then bend your knee to a square. Root into your back heel. Pull your sitting bones towards your back heel and then take your top arm up. Soften your ribs back. Turn the whole arm bone, the upper arm bone, the palm towards the front of your mat. Sweep the arm overhead. And then as you reach into your back heel, stretch through your arm, lengthen your chest. Take a deep breath. Look down, rise all the way up. Turn your foot forward, give your hips a little shake. Turn your whole left thigh out. Turn your right heel back. Lift your pelvis up, strong back leg. Bend your left knee to a square. Hands onto your pelvis, strong legs. Shift your hip back, lift it up. Shift your pelvis back, lift it up. Shift your pelvis back, hinge, hinge, hinge. Bring your forearm onto your thigh. Bend your knee to a square and use your forearm to roll the thigh a little bit more to the left. At the same time, straighten your back leg. Take your top arm up. Roll the whole arm towards the back of your mat and then stretch your fingers over your ears. Lengthen your sitting bones, stretch through the sides of your waist. Sit down a little deeper, stretch through your legs. Inhaling in, rise all the way up, turn your toes forward. Hands onto your hips again. Option one is to bring your hands to the floor like we did before. A variation, interlace the hands behind your back. This adds a shoulder stretch. Roll the shoulders back. Again, soften your knees. Inhale in. As you exhale, just come halfway down. Continue to lift your shoulders up and take the hands away from your pelvis. Lengthen your spine, and then as you exhale, forward fold to the extent that you're able. Continue to lift your shoulders up. Pull your fingers apart. Let your head go. One more deep breath. Exhale out, press through your feet, reach your chest forward, rise all the way up to stand. Let go of your hands if they were connected and then walk your feet back to the center of your mat. Come back to the front of your mat to stand in Tadasana. This time in Tadasana, bring your feet to touch. So bring your big toe mounds together and your heels just a little bit apart. Bend your knees, sit down into chair pose. Send your hips back, so we're gonna get nice and deep. Bring your chest low to the floor. Draw the pit of your belly in, send your sitting bones back and squeeze your legs together. From here, reach your arms forward so your chest is parallel to the floor. Stretch through your fingers, send your hips back. Sit down an inch, squeeze your legs up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. 
down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, sit into your heels, down, up three more, down, up, down, up, last one, down, up, all the way up to stand, reach your arms to the sky, exhale, take your hands down, take a breath, feel your legs, sitting back down, chair pose, squeeze the legs together, sit down, bring your hands to your chest. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, left hand comes to the outside of your right knee, right hand comes to your sacrum. Lengthen your spine, get a little lower, and then keeping your hips square, your knees together, turn your chest to the right. Option one, stay right here. Option two, tuck your left elbow across your right knee and press your palms together, coming into a chair twist. Use your breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more time, hips back, heart forward, lengthen and twist. Inhale, rise all the way back up to stand. Stretch your arms up, find some length. Exhale, hands by your side. Second side, bend your knees, send your hips back, hands together in front of your chest. Inhale, lengthen, squeeze your knees together. As you exhale, twist to the left, hand to the outside of your left knee. Option one, stay right here. Option two, bring the elbow across. Continue to lengthen by pulling your hips back and then turning your belly. Look down, check out your knees, make sure that your right knee isn't sneaking forward. Lengthen your spine, twist. Inhale, lengthen, twist. One more time. Inhale, lengthen, shoulders away from your ears, and twist. Inhale, rise all the way back up, find more space. Exhale, hands down. Inhale and reach your arms up. As you exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, let your head go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left leg back. So widen your feet so that your feet are about hip distance apart. Lower your back knee down. Bring your hands onto your front thigh. Take an inhale, palms into your chest. Shift forward halfway, get really long here. As you exhale, twist to the right. So you can either bring your hand across, right hand to your sacrum, or tuck the left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Press the leg into the arm, the arm into the leg. Now take a quick look down and make sure that your head and your nose is still aligned to the inside of your right foot. Squeeze your legs together. Option one, stay here. Option two, lift your back thigh strongly up. Push through your back toes, lengthen the sides of your waist and twist as you exhale. One more breath, strong back leg and twist. Inhale, untwist, fingertips back to the front of your mat. Step forward, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Step your right leg back. Lightly lower your back knee down. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. Come on up. Shift about halfway down like a 45 degree angle. Squeeze your legs. Lengthen your spine. Inhale as you exhale, twist. Again, option hand or elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press your knee outwards. Press your arm into your leg. Look down. Make sure your spine is still aligned. And then option one, stay here. Option two, strongly lift your right leg up. Squeeze your inner legs together. Pull your heart forward to get more length and then twist your body. Use your breath to find space. Strong back leg, one more breath. Twist, twist, twist. Inhale, untwist, bring your hands down. Step forward again to the front of your mat. Release your head and your neck. Bring your hands to your hips. Widen and lift your shoulders. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Chair pose one more time. Sit your hips back and down. Sit a little deeper. Reach your arms forward. Plug the shoulders onto your back and then lift your arms up by your ears. Send your hips back. Scoop your tailbone under. Sit down into your heels. Up an inch. Down an inch. Up an inch. Little pulses. Down an inch. Up an inch. Down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch, five more. Sit down, five, four, three, little lower, two, one, stretch all the way up, inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank pose. 
If your wrists are bothering you, you can do this down onto your forearms again. Press your palms down, lift your hips up a little bit, and then scoop your tailbone under. Bring your shoulders right over your wrists. Lift your thighs, squeeze your glutes. Holding here for about 15 more seconds. Draw your bottom ribs in. Relax your jaw, relax your eyes. Use your legs to stay strong. Last eight. Five. Three, two, one. Lower your knees down, chest nice and broad. Exhale all the way down to the mat. Take a moment to rest. You can bring your forehead onto your hands. Let your whole body go. Stretch your legs back. I like to lift one foot, then lift the other foot to really lengthen the legs. And then lengthen your sitting bones towards your heels so you'll feel your low belly pull in and up. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Pull the low belly in a little bit more to protect your lower back. Float your hands. As you inhale, lift up. As you exhale, lower down. This is a floating baby cobra. Really good for the back muscles. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the shoulder blades, lowering on down. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the elbows in, lowering on down. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the elbows in, back of your neck super long. Exhale, lower down, three more. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lift up, squeeze, lowering down. Last one, long legs, inhale, lift up, squeeze the elbows in, lowering on down. Press up onto your hands and to your knees. Take your hands as wide as your mat. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Keep your knees down, but scoop your tailbone. Widen your chest. So we're going to do five push-ups. And the name of this game is to keep your chest nice and wide and your core engaged. Lowering down five, pushing up. Use your breath. Lowering down four, inhale, exhale. Three, two, one, stay down, hold here, scoop your tailbone, holding five, four, three, two, one, push all the way up and all the way back down. Take a little break. Relax your head to one side or stack your forehead onto your hands. Moving again into another back strengthener, really good for our postural muscles. Walk your hands forward and wide. Good bit of space here, stretch your toes back. Lengthen your sitting bones. Pull your heart forward, so plug the fingers down and draw your arm bones back until you feel a nice little connection between your shoulder blades. You might need to come a little bit lower for this. Lots of core engagement here, float your hands. Stretch your toes back, float your feet. Inhale. Now as you exhale, squeeze your elbows back, tip your fingers up, and take your legs wide so you feel your outer hips. As you inhale, stretch your fingers forward, toes long. It's like we're swimming. Exhale, pull back, lift your chest. Inhale, legs together, arms forward. Exhale, elbows back, legs wide. Inhale, reaching forward. Three more. Exhale, lifting up. Reaching forward, inhale. Exhale, pulling back, up, 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 reaching forward. Last one, coming on up, squeeze the legs wide, pulse the legs wide for five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Turn your head to the other side, give your hips a little wiggle. Press your hands underneath your shoulders, come all the way up to sit. Sit with your knees bent and take a look at your feet. Place your feet parallel to each other, so that means they're pointing straight forward, about hips distance apart. From here, scoot your hips forward so that your hips are underneath your knees, and then go ahead without moving your feet and lay down. Bring your elbows down by your sides and make little robot arms so your elbows are bent and your fingers are pointing up towards the sky. Pressing your elbows down, tuck your shoulders one at a time more underneath you. You'll feel the front of your chest widen. From here, press down strongly into both of your feet 
and lift your hips up towards the sky. As you lift your hips up, hug your legs together so that they remain parallel and then scoop your tailbone up towards your knees. Now in a yoga bridge, you press the elbows down and as you lengthen your tailbone forward, you also lift your chest to your chin. Lift your chest up, press the back of your head down to maintain space through your neck. As you press the elbows down, lift up through your chest. Make sure to press through the inner edges of your feet. They tend to come loose. Take one more breath, lift your pelvis up. As you exhale, lower all the way down. Let your hands rest on your pelvis. Let your upper back relax. Bringing your arms back to robot arms. Tuck the shoulders underneath you again. Scoop your tailbone up towards your knees. Lift your hips up. Making this one a little bit harder, press down through your left heel, lift your pelvis up towards the sky, hover your right foot. Down an inch, pulse up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch, pelvis even. Down an inch, up. Five, press through your heel, four, three, lift your hips, two, and one. Lift up, put your right foot down, Lower your hips all the way down to the ground for a moment and take a breath. Coming into the second side, press the upper arm bones down, tip your tailbone up towards your knees and lift your hips up. Keep lengthening your tailbone. Now root down through your right heel, come onto your left toes and then hover the left foot up and down. Push through the right heel, lift up and little pulse down, up down. Last five. Pulse up. Four. Squeeze your glute. Three. Two. Face soft. And one. Lift up, up, up. Push the toes down. Release your hips all the way down to the earth. Take your feet a little wider now and allow your knees to wash from side to side. And then bringing your feet back to parallel. Lift your hips up and over to the right a couple of inches. Release your knees down towards the left. Let your arms come a little bit wider apart. Spread your chest. Now option one for a more mild twist, keep your knees offset. If you'd like a deeper twist, stack your knees. Now let your upper body relax. Relax your jaw. Your gaze, your face can be straight up. If it's easy on your neck, perhaps you could look to the right. One more breath. Exhale out. Draw your knees up and back to center. Lift your hips up and over to the left this time. Knees drop down to the right. Again, stacking your knees for a deeper twist. Take one more breath, let it go, exhale. Draw your belly in to bring your knees back to center. Lift your hips and set yourself so you're even again. And then place the right ankle across your left knee. This might be quite enough for you. You can press the right thigh forward. If you have a little more space, draw the left knee towards your left shoulder and wrap your hands around the back of your left thigh. Draw your chin just slightly towards your chest to relax the back of your neck. Let gravity do the work here as much as possible. And send your breath into anything that feels tight. And one more deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Changing sides, bring your feet back to the earth. Left ankle over right knee. Option to draw the knee in towards the chest. Two more deep breaths. And release 
releasing that side. Let your feet come down. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side, letting go of any tension through the hips. And finally, bringing the soles of the feet together. Lift your hips, tuck your tailbone under a little bit, and then allow the knees to fall to the side. If this bothers your low back at all, then simply extend your legs forward. One more breath. Sigh out, let it go. And then releasing your legs out nice and long. Let your legs come a little bit wider than your hips. Turn your palms up, tuck your shoulders underneath you. And let your whole body relax for Shavasana. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. If you like, stretch your arms above your head. Then take a big yawn or a big sigh. Draw your knees in, rolling over onto one side. And then make your way all the way up to sit. Come into a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Keep your chest nice and open and lifted as you bow your head down to your heart. Take a moment to thank yourself for taking this time to practice today, for coming home into your body and into your breath. Namaste.